the Bermuda Triangle is known all over the world as one of the most spookiest locations on Earth. What could be the reason behind the unexplained disappearances and frequent accidents? How much of the stories is a fact or a myth? What has been discovered at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle? Join us as we discuss the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. If you take out a map and draw a straight line from Miami to Bermuda and Puerto Rico back to Miami, what you have is a triangle. This is the Bermuda Triangle. In this 500,000 square miles of ocean, ships have disappeared and airplanes have gone off the radar, never to be seen again. There are so many unresolved mysteries in this single location that leaves one to wonder. What is the mystery behind the Bermuda Triangle? One strange case involved the pilots of the squadron of US Navy bombers early in the 20th century. On one regular day, they were flying over the area and they gradually became disoriented. Next was complete radio silence. The planes were never found. Recorded events of the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle date back to the days of Christopher Columbus. When Columbus sailed through the area on his first voyage to the New World, he reported one night that a great flame of fire, most likely a meteor, crashed into the sea and that a strange light appeared in the distance a few weeks later. He also wrote about erratic compass readings. In the early 20th century, a huge tragedy occurred in March 1918. A Navy cargo ship, the 542-foot-long USS Cyclops, with over 300 men on board and 10,000 tons of manganese ore, sank somewhere between Barbados and Chesapeake Bay. The great ship never sent out an SOS distress call, despite being equipped to do so, and after an extensive search, no wreckage was found. The US President, Woodrow Wilson, later said, Only God and the sea know what happened. To that great ship. Many years later, in 1941, two of the Cyclops' sister ships vanished in the same manner along nearly the same route without a trace. An ugly pattern was emerging. Vessels traversing the Bermuda Triangle would either be found abandoned or it would disappear altogether. And that was how, in December 1945, five Navy bombers carrying 14 men took off from the airfield in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in order to conduct practice bombing runs over some nearby shoals. Then, somewhere above the Bermuda Triangle, right in mid-air, the compass started malfunctioning. The leader of the mission, Flight 19, got completely lost and all five planes flew aimlessly until they ran low on fuel and were forced to ditch at sea. But a rescue plane would put this spooky event behind them, right? The same day, the rescue plane and all 13 members of its crew also disappeared. After several weeks of frantic search, the Navy report failed to turn up any evidence whatsoever. These creepy incidents inspired the author, Vincent Gaddis, to fuel speculation on the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. He's even credited for naming the location in 1964. Ten years later, a sensational bestseller was written by Charles Berlitz, and since then, scores of paranormal writers have tried to explain why the Bermuda Triangle is so spooky. Could it be aliens, the devil, or the lost city of Atlantis? Here's what you did not see coming. In October 2005, marine biologists Tsunami Kubodera and Kyoichi Mori snapped footage of a giant squid off the coast of Tokyo near the Bonin Islands aggressively attacking baited lines. In 2007, they revealed their discovery in Amazon Prime's Inside the Bermuda Triangle, researchers from Japan's National Science Museum identify the creature as an Architeuthis. This is a rare species that seizes upon bait with extreme force and violence. The giant squid is close to 30 feet in length. Bermuda researcher Rob Simone believes something similar could be hiding in Bermuda waters. In 2007, he said, The legend of the giant squid is not a legend. They exist. Some of them over 150 feet long, if you can imagine this. We don't know what lies beneath the depths of the ocean. This could very well be a giant creature that is particular to this part of the ocean. Maybe its food sources are contained there, we don't know, but it could explain some of the ships that were mysteriously lost. But that is just one possible explanation. More recently, some scientists have suggested that ship sinkings in the Bermuda Triangle could be due to massive bubbles released from the undersea methane deposits. In this region, the seafloor is known to contain large pockets of gas that could be released suddenly, turning the ocean into some kind of soup that swallows ships without a trace. This is similar to how the huge seafloor craters near Norway were formed. 
But though the mechanism itself makes sense on paper, there's no evidence of any recent methane release from the area around the Bermuda Triangle. The geologist Bill Dillon of the US Geological Survey points out that the last time anything similar happened in the region was around 15,000 years ago. Another explanation for the Bermuda Triangle is the presence of rogue waves. These huge waves can form unexpectedly and rise two or even three times above surrounding waves. As Vice reports, British researchers used lab and computer models to simulate the effects of rogue waves more than 100 feet tall on ships as part of an investigation into the Bermuda Triangle. Ships that were sufficiently long could get caught suspended between two wave peaks with nothing supporting them from below and snap in half, according to the theory. But while rogue waves are certainly capable of capsizing or breaking a ship, we have no definitive evidence tying them to any of the naval disasters in the Bermuda Triangle. Plus, a wave that breaks a ship leaves debris, right? One of the most plausible explanations rests on magnetism. One thing to know is that the Earth's magnetic North Pole isn't the same as its geographic North Pole. This means compasses usually don't point exactly north only along what's known as agonic lines which line up magnetic and geographic north are compasses truly accurate. One agonic line runs from Lake Superior down through the Gulf of Mexico near the Bermuda Triangle, so one theory holds that mariners may make mistakes when close to the agonic line. The Bermuda Triangle of space sits at the point where the inner Van Allen radiation belt comes closest to the Earth's surface. Here, Earth's magnetic field is particularly weak. To explain, Earth has two Van Allen belts. Van Allen belts are a couple of donut-shaped rings of charged particles that surround our planet and are held in place by Earth's magnetic field. The inner part consists mainly of high-energy protons and the outer part is mainly electrons. Because the belts trap the particles flying off the surface of the Sun, they end up protecting the surface of the planets from harmful radiation. At the location of the Bermuda Triangle, however, the particles of solar cosmic rays are not being held back to the same extent as they are elsewhere above the planet. As a result, solar rays come as close as 124 miles or 200 kilometers to the Earth's surface and the more intense solar radiation results in an increased influx of energetic particles in this area. Best believe that the true explanation for the Bermuda Triangle may ultimately reside not in the ocean, but in our minds. Our minds are often biased towards bizarre or otherwise memorable events, and this puts us at odds with reality sometimes. That's why misbehaving compasses are more memorable than a fighter jet that ran out of fuel. Once something stands out like that to us, we pay more attention to it. It can form what is called a frequency illusion, sometimes referred to as a badder mine off effect. This can lead us to think whatever we've noticed is becoming rapidly more common when in reality we're just noticing it more. Another key point that cannot be ignored is the fact that the area within the Bermuda Triangle is heavily trafficked. Any region with lots of ships going through it is bound to see more accidents than a place with less activity. Plus, the Bermuda Triangle is often swept by hurricanes and it's not hard to see why ships might occasionally sink there. Other boats and planes might have seemingly vanished from the area in good weather without even radioing distress messages. But although fanciful theories have been proposed so far, none of them prove that mysterious disappearances occur more frequently here than in any other high traffic seas. In fact, many people navigate that area every day without incident. If you really want to enjoy the pleasure of a tropical paradise, don't let fear stop you. Go ahead and take that vacation to Bermuda. But as always, make sure to wear a life jacket when you're out in the water. Unless you want to leave it to a coin toss. Thanks for watching this video. Which of these theories is the weirdest? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.